Hello, everyone. Are you sufficiently starving now or what? <laughs> My biggest thing is that I had no idea you used the fork on the potatoes to get the extra thing in. I'm so excited about that one. <laughs> yeah. I would like to welcome back out the directors, Betsy and Julie, and the editor, Carla Ferris. Even though Julia Child was very well known, we, you know, as somebody suggested this to us, and we realized that in some ways people have a characterization of Julia and that there's so much to the story, to her story and the impact that she had on our world, you know, everything, food, television, women, <laughs> the whole thing, and that's how it happened. Yes. Betsy and I, we were considering a number of different uh, lady-oriented projects and took a uh, long cross-town bus ride uh, talking about the horrendous food we had eaten um, in, in our homes as children because we both grew up with um, moms who were bad cooks of the pre-Julia Child mode and just some, like by the end of the by the time we got off on the east side we were like we wanted to do the film we were just like the, the thought of just delving into you know not only julia's biography but just food as a subject i think was kind of exciting to us so tell me what was the, the thing you didn't know that surprised you the most about her you can it can be more than one obviously <laughs> one we didn't expect to find those sexy pictures <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I think a lot of things, obviously, biographies have been written about Julia, but, um, you know, really how forthright and determined she was in later years and how she really dealt with celebrity, someone who really didn't exploit her name for, uh, to put it on, on brands, someone who stood up for what she believed in. Planned Parenthood, and someone who was able to change. That really moved us with the, the story about Julia's attitude about homosexuals, which actually also reflected my feelings about my parents' generation and the way that um, LGBTQ people were so marginalized. And I think there was an incredible revelation in the 80s with the AIDS crisis and everything else. And I don't know, there were lots of things we discovered. And tell me a little bit more about her incredible relationship with Paul. That lifelong, beautiful, uh, it's just really makes me want to weep. But Yeah, I mean, I will say that all three of us love a good feminist love story. It's, it's probably not, maybe it's not coincidental that we're all married to incredible feminist hus husbands. And so we're kind of really drawn to um, the, the kind of emotional, journey that you can go on with a couple together. I mean, I think, you know, Carla did such an amazing job of like really eking, uh, eking that uh, emotion and bringing the romance in, which was just an element that we all, we all love, so. The sex, the sexy? Yes. Um, um, yeah, I mean, what I, I, what I discover really is like the talk about, um, food as pleasure and being able to like, you know, um, get a sense of a relationship through eating food together and sharing. Um, that was just like a great inspiration for that great scene and, and this is, you know, the sensuality of like making food. So that was just like great materials after like we saw, you know, the beautiful pictures of her against the window. I remember like calling these ladies when we saw it. It was like, I have to watch this. I have to look at this. Um, so yes. Yeah, for feminist love stories. Yes, agreed. Yeah. 